Because I'm gonna be working on a lower six here, usually what I'll do is just isolate the whole quadrant because if you just isolate that single tooth and the, the say if you're doing like an occlusal filling and it turns into a DO or an MO, then you're gonna to have to take the whole rubber dam off, isolate again. So it just makes it simple just to do all the quadrant in one go. So, take a rubber dam stamp, aim it towards the center of your rubber dam, and then use a little pen and just mark on here using the stamp where the teeth will be. So I'll go from seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Once I've marked up my holes, you can see that these little letters by the stamp indicate the size of the holes you want to punch in the rubber dam. So you can see where it says large, medium, small, extra small. If you have a look at your rubber dam punch, you've got these five holes. So you've got extra large, large, medium, small, and extra small. First thing before you even start, use a probe and just make sure that these holes are cleared because sometimes when you punch a rubber dam, little bits of the dam get caught in the punch. So I'm going to start with the large, so I'll make sure to center my punch, take the frame off, aim towards the first hole, click it, and then make sure you've pushed it all the way through, let go. So seven, aim towards the six area, so they're large. Once I've done that, move this to a medium. Get my five, four, three, now my extra small for the lower incisors. two, and one. So now that rubber dam is gonna be ready to go. So what I'll then do in the mouth is use a clamp for the seven. I commonly like the W8A clamp and use that for most things. So I'll get my clamp over that tooth, get the posterior hole over the clamp, and then floss the other holes through. When I place my rubber dam, I will usually place it so it's at least one tooth behind the tooth that I'm prepping. And I'll usually try to isolate a whole quadrant. Perfect. This is the W8A, which I use for the majority of my molar work. Um, let's get that on. For my anterior work, I, I use the Brinker clamps quite a lot. They're really useful. Jay, just relax your jaw, mate. All the way. So you can bite together. Feel all right? Cool. So I find the mouth prop helps a lot during these long appointments. So clamps on, mouth props in. Get the frame on like this. There we go. And I will trim this rubber down a little bit here. So it's not over his nose. Try not to give him a shave at the same time. Then we look at flossing through these contact points. Let's start around that pre-molar area, please. Perfect, good work. And then just wait a second, wait a second. Let's get the two and the one and the, oh, wait, wait. there we go. Perfect. Two and three, and put that there. Lovely. Three molars again. Perfect, let's grab that. So I can have suction. 
what I'm going to do on set. Just after that's on like that, what you can find becomes a little bit of a problem here is that it leaks a little bit underneath the clamp there and there. So I will re-engage my clamp, disengage it on one side so it pops under. And do exactly the same on the other side. That's ready to go. So why do I use rubber dam? Now, I do a lot of adhesive dentistry. So if you're gonna be thinking about bonding your materials in, your bond's gonna be so much better if the tooth is dry. Otherwise, you're going to, even though a lot of people might just think that they can use cotton wool rolls or have a good nurse for suction, you're never gonna keep the tooth that dry. There's also a certain amount of moisture that's gonna come out from the patient's breath as well. The other thing that rubber dam's gonna work well for you is just isolate the quadrants so your patient's cheek, tongues aren't in the way. As a patient advantage, once the rubber dam's on, I find it helps them really disassociate from the procedure. So they're not gonna, be, they're not gonna have a load of water to the back of their mouth. Your nurse is gonna be able to get in there a lot easier without kind of holding back a wrestling tongue. It just makes everything so much easier. Now, I know people are put off and if they're not well versed in rubber dam, it can be a bit of a faff in the first place getting used to it. But once you routinely use it, it becomes so easy that within five minutes at the beginning of the appointment, the patient's numb, rubber dam's on, and you can get going. Often at this point, I use some headphones, pop them on my patient, and they can just zone out and let you get on with the procedure.